ह्यूमन वैल्यूज आर एसेंशियल फॉर लिविंग इन द हॉमनी विद सेल्फ ईच अदर एंड नेचर मेकिंग लाइफ ईजी लिविंग विद द फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली मेकिंग मनी टू फुलफिल द करेक्ट आंसर इज लिविंग इन हॉर्मनी विद द सेल्फ एंड विद ईच अदर इन नेचर सेकेंड वन नोइंग मीन्स हैविंग राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ईच ह्यूमन बींग्स इन इज को एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ द सेल्फ एंड बॉडी The dash does not assume things. The body does not assume things. The system of a body works in a self-organized way. Selecting and des desiring are the activities of self. The problem in our relationship with various entities are due to the assumptions. Right, it value education dash and dash in every human being. It uh, ensures the right understanding and right feeling. The process of value education is of self-exploration. A harmonious world is created by the values at four levels. These are uh, individual, family, society, and universe. The activity of desires, thoughts, and expecting together is called imagination. Any entity that has an activity of recognition and fulfillment only can be used as material entity. Acceptance of excellence in others is called as reverence. An individual people aspiring for the universal human order will be more responsible socially and economically. values important for the relationship harmony they may include integ integrity and the character swatantra means all of free happiness means to be in a state of harmony samriddhi means it is prosperity value education leads to human being to harmony self study helps us to know dash and how to remove know our weaknesses and how to remove them our participation at the different levels in larger order is known as values values are the outcomes of realization and which are always definite understanding realization and understanding the participation of the human being is seen in the forms of behavior and work in the first level of living is individual second level is our family third level is our society fourth level is our nature expression of thoughts is in the form of behavior and work universal rational and verifiable are the basic guidelines of the value education universal you know rational and the verifiable are the guidelines of value education value of entity is decided on the basis of participation in larger order value education helps us to correctly identify all of the that is goals aspirations and desires value education leads a human being to harmony the purpose of value education is to both first and third option that is to uh, foster universal core values develop the values in individuals a harmonious world is created by the values at the four level that is individual family society and universe when we participate in larger order this participation at a different levels is called values the value education ultimately is targeted to promote harmony within the individual among the human beings and with the nature to fulfill the human aspirations are both values and skills are necessary values are the outcomes of realization and understanding which are always definite values form the basis of for all our uh, both first and second option that is thoughts behaviors and actions universal means applicable to all the human beings irrespective of the caste creed rationalities religion etc for all the times and regions basic unit of human interaction is family which of the following is not a guidelines of value education it is belief based the first dimension of human being is thought second dimension is realization third dimension is behavior fourth dimension is work fifth uh, is not there that are the fourth uh, dimensions which of the following is not the correct about the value education it is universal it's not universal when we set our goal in the right direction with the help of right understanding it is called as value domain when we work when we hard work learn and practice to achieve our goal it is called skill domain education has two domains that is value domain and skill domain which of the following is true the value domain help with uh, deals with the understanding part while the skill domain deals with the understanding part sorry the skill domains lead relates with the learning part next is which of the following is not a dimension for human being it is society dash means harmony within myself happiness
and your happiness. Prosperity can be achieved by right understanding and the physical facilities. Happiness is a state of harmony. For prosperity, which of the following is not required? Giving the first priority to physical facilities in life is not required. To be in a state of unhappiness is disliking. Which of the following is true? Happiness is definite and it is it can be understood. To be in a state where it is contradiction, conflict and acrimony is unhappiness. To be in a state of liking is happiness. Continuous happiness and prosperity are the basic human aspirations. It is natural for physical things and facilities to slowly deteriorate. Happiness means harmony within myself. The feeling of having pro pro producing more than required physical facilities is the prosperity. To be a state of liking is happiness. Then basic requirement for fulfilling our aspirations of every human being with the correct priority is what first right understanding, relationship and physical facilities. Giving weightage to the physical facilities to the maximization of the sensory pleasures and accumulation of the wealth is called as animal consciousness. Human consciousness means giving weightage to relationships to inherit the feeling and right understanding is the human consciousness. Dash helps us to, dash helps a human being to transform from that to this is the right understanding. Our natural acceptance is to be in which of the following category? It has to be in the four S that is Suvidha, Sampan, Suki, Samrit. SVDD means it is the option D, Suvid, Vihin, Dukhi, Daritra. SSS means, as I said previously, uh, it is my option C. To which category prosperous person belong? To 4S. To which category deprived person belong? Belongs to SVDD and SSD. Right understanding with the physical facility brings us mutual prosperity. Living with the physical comforts only is considered as animal consciousness. Right understanding and relationship of the physical facilities are called right understanding. Animal consciousness is a precondition of a human being. Transformation from animal to human is by right understanding and the preconditions. Third basic requirement for the transformation is mental discipline. Right understanding for oneself and right understanding for all the entities around and right understanding of the laws governing them is right understanding. The right understanding of the relationship means I am harmony with everyone and everything. To be in a right understanding of a relationship means I am in a harmony with everything and everyone. Fourth basic requirement for the transformation of animal to human consciousness is relationship. When we are in harmony with everything and everyone, we can be in peace. Fifth is balance is required. Sensory pleasures mean uh, pleasure experienced through senses. Uh, which of this is true about that is sensory pleasures is fleeting, sorry, fleeting and temporary. Sensory pleasures being confusion, excitement, ex uh, excitement, conflicts and uh, contradictions in life, like happiness. Transformation from that animal to human consciousness requires balancing sensory pleasures with the right understanding. Here, the, I am repeating the questions in a different way so that you get to know what are all the types of questions that can be asked. Detachment is ne needed for right understanding. Confusion is needed for maximum sensory pleasures. Right understanding is needed for maximum happiness. Excitement is needed for maximum sensory pleasures. Animal consciousness is preconditioning. Animal consciousness is characterized as pursuit of sensory pleasures. The natural acceptance is our SSDD. Natural acceptance in which category of people? Physical facilities are always beneficial. Sensory pleasures is always short-lived. Transformation from animal conscious to human is mental discipline. So this completes the question bank. So here many questions are repeated so that you come to know how what are the different ways of questions that can be asked. So this was all about the important questions question bank. So I hope all the topics are covered in this. So thank you for watching. Do share, like and subscribe to Examignite for the further videos and question papers. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.